What is going on everybody? As most of you already know, my name is Chad and today we're going to talk a little bit about religion and more specifically the whole incident on the favela map being taken down. But I didn't want to do it right away because everyone's sub boxes was, were getting spammed with that, I mine included, and I just didn't want to do it right away so I figured I would wait it out until it kind of died down a little bit. If you guys are unfamiliar with uh, what happened, I'm sure most of you have already heard about this by now, but Infinity Ward put a picture frame with a saying by the Prophet Muhammad, and it read something like, Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty, something like that anyways. And they hung it in the bathroom of Favela over the toilet, which <laughs> I some people are going to laugh at and think it's sort of funny, but it's disrespectful to the Islamic faith. That's one of their you know, big things, is keeping any religious things out of the bathroom and over the toilet specifically. Uh, so, you know, I think it was done purposely. It's whatever, that's my opinion. Uh, but I'm not really here to talk about if it was done purposely or not. What I wanted to talk about was more how the community reacted to it. And there was a lot of people, uh, a lot of Americans I should say, that said, you know, what's the big fucking deal? They're taking down a map for this bullshit. And they couldn't fix anything in the game, but they'll take down a map now. And uh, that just shows how selfish <laughs> some Americans can be. I mean, that's ridiculous. I'm not religious myself, but I'm smart enough to know that some people care quite a bit about their religion and about their beliefs, so I respect them for that. And again, I just I think it's completely ignorant that someone would put a video game before religion or before someone's beliefs uh, and be pissed off because they didn't patch one man army and noob tubes, but they took down the map. And Again, that goes back to the point where I think whoever did it may have done it on purpose because Infinity Ward took it down immediately. They knew they were wrong. Uh, and for what it's worth, the map is going to come back. But again, why are people bitching about this? There's a whole handful of people that play this game anymore anyways. And if Vela never came back, who fucking cares? There's how many other 20-something other maps you can play. I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't understand why people are complaining about it personally, but... Again, let's be honest here, this is the internet, and this is YouTube, and that's how people are. They are always going to complain about stuff they wouldn't normally complain about in real life, and unfortunately that's how it's always going to be, but think about it if it was the other way around. Just say on Convoy, for example, on Black Ops, there was a picture of Jesus on a urinal cake in the bathroom or something. Could you imagine, <laughs> could you imagine the issues that everyone would have with that? So, I mean, if you're going to complain about one religion or complain about the impact something like the favela situation has on the game then you know you better fucking be ready to accept anything derogatory that could come your way from your religion um and with all that said overall i just think people are too sensitive about religious issues racial issues gender equality issues political issues and all that kind of stuff but they are hot spots and that's why people a lot of times will ban them from certain message boards or you know, stuff like that, because it just ends up turning into an argument because everyone has their belief and they think their belief is correct. And that's the biggest problem in our world today is that people just don't respect, you know, the decisions, the beliefs, the face of others. And unfortunately, I don't think that's ever going to change. I think the internet actually makes it worse because it gives these people this attitude of, I could say what I want, people don't know who I am. And there's no repercussions of that. And look, like I said earlier, I'm not a religious person, I'm not taking anybody's side here, you know, I'm not trying to bash Americans in the way that they think because most of us aren't like that, but at the same time, uh, I'm not religious like I said, but I understand that there are people that are, that are people that are fanatically religious and that's their choice, I have no problem with that, that's just not how I am, but I respect the way that they think and the way that they want to live their lives. Maybe we're living wrong, maybe they're living wrong, maybe no one's living wrong, they're just living the way they want, it, you know. But that's the whole point, is being able to accept that and being able to respect, you know, like I said, other religions, if you are religious yourself, and just being able to respect the way that other people live their lives, whether you think it's right or wrong. You know, there's always someone looking at you thinking you're living wrong as well, so remember that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Again, you probably already saw this video, I used it quite a ways back when I was talking about how to play free for all it was kind of leading up to the Moab for Dummies series. There's no sound, in-game sound on the video because I had a commentary over it. I didn't have a raw copy of this, unfortunately, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Again, I appreciate all the support and I will catch y'all later. Peace.